Good evening and welcome to the news and sport from Granada Reports. Stars from some of the country's biggest soaps have taken to the football pitch today to raise money for charity. Well-known faces from Coronation Street, Emmerdale and Hollyoaks were playing against a team of former professionals from clubs across the region. Andy Bonner reports from Chorley's Ground, Victory Park. They are better known for their antics on screen, but today a team of soap stars stepped onto the pitch in aid of two Northwest charities. But for, for us as actors, you know, we just kind of know that a few of the crowd will turn up to see us type thing. Uh, you know, I've, I've kind of just come down just to show my support now because yeah. I'm not a great player anymore. I've just turned 41, so I think my playing days might be might be over. And I'm just coming down just to show my support for the lads. The prediction is, I don't think I'll last 90 minutes. <laughs> Did you go out last night? Yeah, no, chance? I didn't go out last night, but it is my first game back all year, so we'll see how we go. The Jet 2 TV All Stars were playing the Rosemere Legends, which included former professionals from Blackburn, Preston, Burnley, Accrington, and Blackpool. It's good to see the boys. Over. You get to see each other maybe once a year, maybe even once every two years, it depends. But now we're all getting together at these kind of events again uh, because we can do it. It's nice to catch up with some of the lads. It can be hard work nowadays getting out there and I'm, I'm just, I'll am i be happy if I get through it with no niggling injuries. For, but usually it'll take me about three days to recover. So, um, But, you know, like I say, it's all in a good course, so it's well worth the pain. Former Blackburn and Burnley midfielder Len John Rose wasn't at today's game. But his trust will benefit from some of the proceeds, raising funds for motor neurone disease, which he was diagnosed with in 2017. He's very grateful, his family's very grateful, and uh, you know, the, these events uh, go a long way to, to, to helping the, the trust uh, and for everything that Len needs uh, now and for his family in the future. If I can do a little bit and, and help, that's what we, we all need to do, really. The match ended with a win for the TV All-Stars, yet whatever the battles on the pitch, the money raised by everyone will make a difference. Andy Bonner, ITV News, Chorley. The force has been strong in Blackburn today as more than a thousand Star Wars fans gathered for a charity fundraiser. Sand people and stormtroopers were all part of the Star Wars Fan Fun Day at Ewood Park, all to raise money for East Lancashire Hospice. It was a chance for fans to show off their costumes, buy limited edition merchandise and share their love of Star Wars with actors from the films. I think from where it started, because it's just, it's just a very classic narrative, a classic tale, and it's just struck a chord in people from the very beginning and they're going back to their childhoods and revisiting stuff. Yeah, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, yeah. I've been doing it about six years now seven years something like that and it's just it's really great like sense of community as well it's good to meet people fans talk to people who are the same frame of mind people of all ages um, coming together to celebrate something that we all love i'm not just me i'm a character and I'm, i get to play that character with the other stormtroopers the clone trooper Getting that winning feeling. FOW. Sponsors of the Granada Sport Report. On to sport now and Manchester City remain in the driving seat in the Premier League title race. They went back to the top of the league with a 5-0 win at home to Newcastle this afternoon. It leaves them three points clear of Liverpool with three games left to play. At the other end of the table, Everton took another huge step towards Premier League safety with a 2-1 win away at Leicester. It leaves the Toffees a point above the drop zone with one game in hand. Stockport County's promotion party remains on hold. They could have gone up today but were beaten away at Wrexham by three goals to nil. Promotion is still in their hands though. They will need four points from their final two games to seal their return to the Football League. And finally, in rugby, Sale Sharks are out of the European Champions Cup. They were beaten by 41 points to 22 by Racing 92 in this afternoon's quarter-final being played in Paris. Now here's Kerry with a look at the weather forecast. That sunshine really made your eyeshadow pop, you know. And you put the wipe in the bin, not the toilet. United Utilities sponsors ITV Granada Weather. Go ahead, Queen.
Hello, very good evening to you. Stub and cloud around this morning. Sunshine took its time in places during the first half of today. The light trying to come through the cloud first thing this morning for Zoe Hodkinson, but certainly for Mark Jolly's uh, walk first thing this morning. Plenty of blue sky and calm conditions. Temperatures did get into the high teens this afternoon where that cloud did break and for this evening and overnight tonight we stick with that story of clear spells patchy cloud a little bit of mist and murk perhaps over the cumbrian fells nothing too chilly but certainly into single figures away from towns and cities as we head through towards tomorrow morning this was this morning for mike a big thank you for sharing 5:20 and 8:55 ism times for tomorrow it's a dry start We'll become a little bit breezy during the course of the day tomorrow. A weather front is hanging out in the northwest, so certainly affecting the Isle of Man and possibly Cumbria later. But ahead of that system, we're still in the warm air. Could still get highs of 20 despite those winds starting to freshen. The rain will push through tomorrow evening, fragmenting into tomorrow night as it pushes south and east. And then for Tuesday, sunshine and showers and feeling a little fresher with some gusty winds for the coast and the hills. United Utilities sponsors ITV Granada Weather. Those eyebrows are unreal. Thanks, Kerry. That's the news and sports so far this evening. Don't forget, you can keep up to date on our website at itv.com slash Granada. We're back again in Good Morning Britain, bright and early from six. Until then, enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.